Hello and welcome back. In this video, we'll discuss the different view components or frames in ServiceNow and their respective utility. There are four main areas in the ServiceNow application. There is the edge, the banner frame, the application navigator, and the main content frame. Before we look at these areas in ServiceNow, I'd like to quickly provide an overview. The edge is used to store bookmarks, toggle the application navigator on off, view tagged items, and switch to list and form view. The application navigator is where a user can access all of the applications and modules within the system. They can use the search box and star their favorite modules. The banner frame is where the company logo and banner text is displayed. There is also a link to the user's profile, a gear button, and a logout button on the right. Finally, there is the main content frame, which is where you'll spend the majority of your time working within the system. Now let's go over these more in depth within ServiceNow. Again, the edge is used to save bookmarks, tagged items, and to toggle the list and form view and navigator. Here we can see that there is a list view on the left and a form view of a specific record on the right. The list and form view can be helpful when working with a number of records on a large monitor. All records that have a tag in the form view may be tagged for quick access. Most links within the system may be dragged to the edge to create a bookmark. We can edit the properties of the bookmark by hovering over it and clicking Edit Bookmark. We can change the name of the bookmark, we can change the icon, and select a few other options such as flyout which will bring the bookmark up in a pop-up rather than redirecting the user in the main content frame. The banner frame is where the company's logo and banner text is displayed. There is also a link for the user's profile. Since I'm an admin, I see the avatar icon and the lock icon. The avatar icon is used to impersonate someone, which can be very helpful when testing or debugging access controls. The lock can be used if the user has the security admin role. By activating this, the user will have temporary access to a number of security settings, ACLs, and background scripts. This provides an additional layer of security for the instance. We'll discuss more about this in the Access Controls section. On the right of the banner frame, we have a global search bar, a logout button, a gear icon, and a small arrow button. The search bar is a global system search for a number of records throughout the system. Here we can search for incidents, problems, changes, users, and a number of other records. The small arrow is used to shorten the height of the banner frame. The gear icon is used to access a number of user settings, such as the home page, turning on or off the compact view, the tabbed forms, split layout options, related list loading options, the application scope, and a number of other user-specific options. We will come back to a lot of these options down the road, but for now, just remember that this is where the majority of user-defined preferences are stored. Now we'll go over the application navigator. This is used to access certain applications within the system. 
The title within the gray rectangle is called an application, while the links within the application's white box are called modules. Each module is a type of link to a specific page within the application. As you can see, there are a number of applications that ServiceNow provides out of the box. If you create custom applications, they will be shown here as well. The search bar is called the Type Filter text box and can be used to quickly find applications or modules. There is also a star icon that, when clicked, will show all modules that have been recently accessed or starred by the user. Finally, there is an arrow which brings up a menu that allows the user to select from a number of predefined list templates, as well as collapse all applications, expand all applications, and refresh the application navigator. The last main area is the content frame. This is where you'll be viewing actual records and working within the system. Finally, there are two arrows here that, when clicked, will minimize the related areas to maximize the screen real estate of the main content frame.